What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So it's been a little while since I've sort of just talked with you guys kind of one-on-one -on -one here, just updated you on what's been going on with my life outside of YouTube. If you're new here, you may or may not know that I am a full-time content creator. So that means not only YouTube, but I do freelance client work, whether that be, you know, sort of like video commercial stuff, photos, portraits, I do pretty much everything. And over the last month or two, things have been really busy and really exciting. We've been growing a ton, gaining a ton of subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you to each and every one of you who've been subscribing lately, who've been watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. And along with that has come some attention from brands. You guys have been seeing that I've been getting a bunch of products from companies, which is super awesome. Very exciting to actually start getting stuff to put in my videos, it's content. I've got some boxes here behind me that we're gonna get into uh, along with uh, uh, this. Okay, so my whole office space here is like really not set up for the whole for the whole unboxing thing. I'm thinking about going to Ikea and getting some sort of like small table that I can kind of just set up in the middle of things here so I can do unboxing type stuff like overhead. So I don't really know if I should be opening this from where the shipping label is. It's like tape completely see like what? Jeez. boxes inside of boxes okay so what we have here this is the mini 20d this is the light storm series from aperture this is basically a small led for now light really really excited for this i'll open that up and show you guys in a sec it looks like we have the deity condenser shotgun microphone this is gonna be sick got some stickers nice Ooh, check this guy out. And then it looks like we have some battery options. Sony NPF type battery. Uh, little ball head mount. And then of course it looks like we have the AC adapter and everything. Okay, sweet. So I'll definitely open that up, show you guys more of this light. In another video, this is gonna be really fun. I'll use this for probably something like a background light. This is gonna be fun. Oh, okay, got some, uh, got some hard case action here. Oh man, look at this. Oh my gosh. This thing is ridiculously heavy. I don't know if you guys saw that, but when I pulled it out of the case here, the case tipped back. Oh my gosh. So what you guys are looking at here, this is the Aperture Deity Shotgun Microphone. This is a very, very high quality microphone. Very, very different from something like you're listening to right now, which is the Rode VideoMic Pro. Different purpose, kind of a different sort of a grade of microphone. We're gonna be taking a look at this in another video. Stay tuned for that. But this is the microphone that I'm gonna be using from now on for in here in the studio when you guys see like the main A-roll shot. So this is gonna be sweet. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I might be wrong though. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. So BenQ, which most of you may know, is a monitor company, got in contact with me to send me a couple of products for some upcoming projects. Uh, this is the screen bar reading lamp, which they make. It's basically like a desk lamp that doesn't create any glare on your screen. It's like super, super smart and adaptive to like the light around you. Really excited to check this out. So more on that later. This is another package from BenQ. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be one of those boxes. Like impossible to, come on. <laughs> Okay, this is the BenQ EW3270U. This is a brand new monitor. I don't believe it's even out yet. I think it's available for pre-order, but this is a 32 inch 4K display. It's like a video editor's dream monitor. So I am super excited for this. Thank you, BenQ. Uh, okay, time out. Oh boy. Ugh. Check that thing out. So stay on the lookout for the full video. That'll be coming relatively soon, but we've got one more thing to open. I don't know why, but it's always so satisfying to like nicely undo the plastic off things like these. Ooh boy. Wait, what? Don't tell me that's it. This, no. 
<laughs> no. Guys, this is my phone. This is an iPhone 7. This isn't even the Plus, just a straight up iPhone 7. You're joking. Th this is this is silly. Like this is just straight up silly. So to preface this, I have used and shot with the Mavic, which is by pretty much any standard still an extremely small drone, but like this is next level. Ooh, looks like we got propeller guards. Um, an extra set of propellers, documentation. Okay, and then here we got the controller, which, oh, where are the, where are the thumbsticks? Oh, okay, here's the little thumbsticks. They're kind of hidden inside the controller here. That's kind of cool. I remember a lot of people complaining that it was annoying because of the initial, like the Mavic controller, you couldn't remove the thumbsticks. So they're these things that just kind of stuck out. It didn't really go nicely inside of a camera bag. Okay, so the controller for the most part looks pretty much the same compared to the Mavic. Doesn't have the little LCD display here, but it's the same sort of feel. Definitely like this. <laughs> okay, that's funny. The controller is quite literally uh, thicker. Oh, no, it's about the same thickness, but wider than the drone itself. Okay, so we've got what looks to be some different sort of adapters for different phones. So if you're rocking like an Android or something like that, they got you covered. Does look like they include some extra little thumbsticks for the controller. Um, I think this is the AC adapter for the charger really small really lightweight good to see that and uh oh that's convenient they actually have some usb charging ports included there on the side so this kind of doubles as a charging hub I, also looks like they include a usb a to usb c cable which is kind of this flat cable not entirely sure why that's in there but well, i guess we'll find out okay so that appears to be pretty much it Definitely really, really impressed right away with how tiny this thing is. Like, this is pretty unreal. Uh, let's go fly. So I just got back home from shooting that sequence that you just saw there in downtown Portland with the Mavic Air. Now, I have a couple things to say as some like first impressions about the drone. It's incredibly small. I cannot tell you guys enough how much I like this form factor. Where I parked in downtown Portland, which was basically along the waterfront, I was in sort of like a sketchy parking lot. There was people walking around. I wanted to just get the drone up into the air as quick as possible. Um, I was able to set the drone up, get it all connected, ready to go in my lap in my the driver's seat of my car within like two minutes that was great and then i basically just set the drone outside on the pavement beside my car sent it up got back in my car when i was actually piloting from my driver's seat which was really nice now i've only got a chance to see the footage just briefly here on my computer and just kind of playing around doing a little bit of color grading but the image out of this thing looks astonishing like I, I don't really have words for it like this thing is just so tiny it looks like a toy it looks like something you'd go buy from Radio Shack if you didn't know what you were looking at and it produces just literally a beautiful image like it's very detailed very sharp it doesn't have the same sort of weird noise that the Mavic had like flickering noise artifacts and you guys may or may not know what I'm talking about but long story short the image quality out of this thing is absolutely surpassing my standards i couldn't be happier about that the one downside that i've seen already with this thing is the battery life it's a 21 minute flight time which compared to the phantoms or the mavic which is more like 27 to 30 it may not sound like a huge difference but when you account in for the fact that you have to get the drone up into the air to actually start getting your shots and then you have to account for some battery life to return home and then if you have to actually fly distances between capturing different angles that really cuts down on the amount of time that you're actually able to fly the drone and capture your actual shots. The 21 minute flight time, I'm not gonna lie, felt short. And I really do wish I had multiple batteries. The sequence you guys saw 
was captured on one battery. Now, I probably could have gotten more shots if I was in a little bit of a smaller area and not like just a big sort of city waterfront. In order to capture different angles in that area, I would have had to fly the drone a lot of distance overall. So that was kind of taxing on the battery life, but I'm definitely planning on picking up two or three more batteries. Now, right off the bat, the battery life thing absolutely does not turn me off to this drone. The size, the form factor, and the image that it's producing can't really be beat, so this thing is sweet. I will definitely have a more detailed sort of thorough video coming soon on this guy. Probably not gonna do like a legitimate review just because I don't really have a ton of drone experience in the first place, so I don't think I'm one to speak on that. But then of course you guys can see in the background here we have the BenQ monitor up and going. Again, it's a 32 inch display. It's a weird change for me. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I really did like working with a dual monitor configuration, but the 32 inch also is just like a significant amount more screen real estate. So when I'm editing in Premiere Pro, I can see a lot more of my timeline and I can actually have like large enough preview windows when I'm doing color grading and stuff like that, that I don't have to like squish down my timeline. You, I don't, you may not know what I'm talking about, but I think I'm gonna get used to this. So again, stay tuned for a full video on that. The little screen bar up top there I think looks pretty sweet. So definitely thank you BenQ for that. Um, and then the stuff that I got from Aperture, which is the microphone, you're actually listening to it right now. That will be coming in a video soon. The other light that I just got, which is now illuminating my background, the little mini 20D that they sent me, Again, that will be coming in another video. Lots of stuff, lots of content coming your guys' way. I'm kind of getting a little overwhelmed with all the people wanting to send me stuff, but uh, hey, I mean, I'm not complaining and I don't think you guys are, unless you don't like seeing me get stuff. But uh, regardless, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe, I really, really appreciate it if you did that, if you're not already. So uh, yeah, okay, is that it? Yeah, that's it.